Game Changers for Diversity in STEM is a two-day collaborative event that has brought together scientists, engineers and entrepreneurs to work together to really make a difference to diversity and inclusion in science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Our participants were chosen because they all had prior experience promoting the inclusion of traditionally underrepresented groups or improving the STEM working environment for all. I thought it was an opportunity not to be missed. And I think it's a very good thing that we ought to all be on board with. To learn from lots of different people from across the country. The idea of something that was looking to actually change the game really appealed to me. To so maybe share some of my experiences, hopefully inspire other people to continue with the work that they're doing. I've been in the game for a while and I could do something different. We have a lot of problems with um, diversity in STEM fields. Since I gave my first conference presentation 15 years ago, I have been the only woman in the room on a regular basis. When I was a student, um, I, well, I was but I was sexually assaulted um, by um, one of the students on my course. This is a reality for so many women. For a long time in my career, I masqueraded as a, a, a cis, straight, white male, but that meant that I didn't feel comfortable. I knew what I was getting into. That caused a lot of problems with my mental health. Keeping that sort of thing in is, 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 is pretty bad, it's difficult. And as a result, my academic work suffered. To be perfectly honest, when I did transition, I kind of assumed that there wasn't a future for me in STEM. When I went to STEM conferences or lectures and found that I was the only black woman in a room, and then it got worse when I got to university and in an undergraduate cohort of more than 300 people, I was one of six female black students, and then suddenly it became quite evident that there is a diversity issue. We don't have enough uh, women or enough um, black or ethnic minorities in engineering specifically. I've experienced being asked to make the tea, being spoken over at meetings, people talking to junior colleagues instead of me because they assume that the guy is the person that knows about the programme and actually I'm the person that wrote it. I've experienced all of these things and more. These things take a toll. These things take a toll. Diversity is necessary in STEM to ensure that we are benefiting from the best and brightest minds. Only by considering all lived experiences and how everyone can work to their highest potential will we be able to solve the biggest challenges in understanding our world. I think that it is overcome by exactly events like like this, um, where we look quite ruthlessly uh, and, and uh, systemically and in detail at how do we break the current system within the system. In an ideal world, people would um, feel free to pursue academic pursuits without worrying that their sexuality, their gender, their race is going to um, cause issues with that, that they're not going to be listened to because of those things. Our workspaces, the, the places where we go to work, we, we've got to feel safe in them. We're getting better at these things, but homophobia and transphobia still exist. There's a lot of reinventing of the wheel when it comes to diversity projects. There's a lot of will, but everyone kind of starts up a new scheme and isn't aware of all the projects that go on. I did come out as I was leaving and actually everyone was fine, which showed that it's not that there was a problem with hate maybe, um, but it was actually more this active inclusion. We need to be able to, to bring our whole selves confidently into work. If workers aren't supported to do that, then you're never going to get the best out of them. A low visibility of people like me. A lot of times when I speak in schools, a lot of the kids is the first time you're seeing someone who's black, who's female, and is an electrical engineer. They weren't considering doing something like that before because they hadn't seen anybody like them who, who has made it or done it before. By you being present in their classroom today talking about all the exciting projects you're working on and how creative it can be, um, that initial thought about oh maths and science is so difficult, it, it, you're dis demystifying that mi myth by you being present in the classroom. I wish I'd found out about coding earlier, I probably would have studied computer science at university. You've got to be able to see it to, to think you can be it and I didn't think I could be a trans scientist because I didn't see any. It would be criminal to not change and have that diverse workplace. It's manageable, it will take some time but I think we'll get there. We've all got lots of different experiences, 
and we don't often get the opportunity enough to share that learning. I think the key things to do is to firstly find an ally. Actually finding someone to talk to is really important. I have that network of young black women who are in STEM. They can support you when you're going through a difficult time, give you advice, give you help. You need to, to be part of a collective of people with common interests. That really changes the experience that you can have because you don't feel as alone. The institution you might be working in might not be as diverse. Across the board there are some really fantastic and friendly people who want to engage um, and will engage with you, you just have to ask. If you're experiencing that problem then probably somebody else has. Once you've got your allies, start trying to change it because this has been going on for too long. We need to try and fix this now. You can find out more about Game Changers and all the amazing projects that our participants built at our website or through our Twitter and Facebook pages.